this is Texas Motor Speedway, you want to check this one off. You want to say you want a Texas. They do everything bigger and better here. You got to earn your spurs. Get those six guns and fire them off. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Saddle up, boys, and let's go racing. There's so much grip in the middle of three and four at this track that really, in essence, you have about a mile and a quarter of straightaway here. So the drafting is more important simply because you can run wide open because they're not grip limited. We're learning about this this new aero package a lot, um, week in and week out. So we don't have a huge notebook right now with this style of racing. So, so much is changing right now that it's really just going week in and week, in out, week out and learning as you go. And Denny Hamlin nabbed for too fast exiting pit road. Costly mistake for Denny Hamlin to do that under green flag conditions. Frustrating to myself, uh, to say the least. Uh, but really, it, it kind of happened in the middle of shifts. I just... I knew I was really close to, to overdoing it. Definitely angry, but we were really fast when we went back out on the racetrack. We were passing cars like crazy, and that's when I first saw how fast our car really was. Stage ends with Logano, Johnson, and Elliott. Yeah, I felt pretty good about, you know, stage two. We kind of got uh, in a good sequence there. We started picking cars off and, and driving up towards the top ten there, and, uh, and really uh, had, had rebounded uh, with some strategy into the top three. Once we kind of took the lead there at the end of stage two and won it, that's when I knew out front our car was extremely fast. Denny Hamlin has rallied back from being a lap down to win stage number two here at Texas Motor Speedway. 11 car is out front. It is sporty indeed. But now they're going to take four tires for Hamlin, hoping he keeps that track position. The 11 and the 4 both started the tail for uncontrolled tires. I mean, dude, it was sitting right next to him. That's unbelievable. I was pretty confident that uh, we had probably the best car today. We just didn't have the track position because of all the mistakes that we had. Bring it this time. This time, Benny, four tires. He had another issue, almost spun out. I was trying to be aggressive coming to pit lane because I knew that every second counted. And I came to pit road, and the bias was just so far to the back that it started locking up the rear tires. I had to come back around, and that cost us four or five seconds. Chris, this sucks, but it is kind of fun. Yeah, well, let's not have to do it again. I knew as fast as we were, there was no way I was. we, we were going to give up. Denny Hamlin has overcome not one but two penalties to find himself in third place. Really the worst that our car ran was when the 18 was leading, the 20 was second and we were third. We were hanging right with them, but we just didn't have the comfort to really be aggressive. Kyle Busch got out of shape in the middle of one and two. He loses the race lead. Eric Jones easily bypasses it. We expect Eric Jones in the next lap or two. At this time, at this time. Eric Jones gives up the lead to Denny Hamlin. You are the leader for about 15 away. Tip for under every second count. 11 drivers at the front of the field must make one more pit stop. Because of the strategy I was wanting to employ at the end there, I wanted to be one of the very last cars on pit road that we were racing so I wouldn't allow others to adapt to our strategy. Hit this top, hit this top. A double penalty day and a checkered flag for Denny Hamlin. Hell yeah, DH. Great work, guys. Hell yeah, baby. How about that, DH? That was a hell of a lot of work, but man, it was fun, huh?